What's going on everybody? Going Uber here and yes, we're in the same clothes. I have to kind of uh, make a couple videos in a row here for the next couple days as I have a lot of meetings to go to. A lot of kind of exciting, hopefully exciting stuff going on in Going Uber's life right now. I'll fill you in if everything works out. I also want to be careful whatever I say. Uh, the newest hater thing is where they're making fake accounts and commenting on my subscribers' channels. Um, YouTube channel messenger things, you know, that I'm talking crap about people, so I gotta be, um, I gotta just be careful everything I say or they, who knows what's next. Just part of the game, everybody. Don't worry, I'm not letting the haters get to me. Just know if you get some crazy message, that's what it is. Nothing I can do about it. As you all know very well that I don't, uh, cause any drama or crap. It's just... Part of being a YouTuber, I guess. So uh, today, I'm going to take a look at the dirt bikes and get them kind of sorted or figured out what I got to do with them for this season of riding. I am selling the KX125 yet again, um, just to kind of put back into the shop. Uh, spent a little bit more money than I was expecting to, but that's okay, you know. Chasing your dream, you know, just keep chasing your dream. Don't let nothing get in your way. That's all I can say. So we're gonna go and take a look at the bikes. I'm heading home now. This might be the last voyage of my old beater truck. Cause boy, she's hurting. She's doing so bad. She's got a loud ticking sound. It's not a knocking like a rod, but it sounded like maybe timing chain issues. I don't know. She's she's done us good for many, many, many years and a lot, a lot of miles. So it's gonna be sad to see her go, but it's looking like it's getting close to the end for this old beater really sad. So let's go take a look at the bikes and uh, find out what I'm doing with each one of them so we can get ready for the riding season. Alright everybody, so right now we're looking at my KX125. This is an 03. Um, she's an awesome two-stroke, beautiful bike, a lot of fun to ride. I will be selling this bike. I was going to sell it last season and then I changed my mind, but this season I'm definitely going to be selling it. I'm going to sell it for a good price because um, I just want to make the sale so I have the money to invest back into the shop and chase that dream down and do the best I can doing it. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to have to change the fluids in this, the gas and the oil. Um, after winter, you should always do a nice oil change and change your fuel out because this is two-stroke oil, so it's a gas and oil mix, and it can really gum up your plugs, so I will be definitely doing that. Again, super fun bike, a lot of race stuff on it. Just follow me over with that camera, buddy. Keep me in the shot. Excellent job. LJ is doing a great job. I had my son Liam doing the camera work, but he kept looking at my feet for some reason. <laughs> but uh, right here we have the KX85. This one also is going to need an oil change as well as a gas change and a new plug. We will freshen it up and have it ready to go. Uh, this will be tons of fun. So LJ, if you can get your bike in the shot real good. This is my son LJ's KX65. Um, really fun bike. That thing actually has a ton of power, believe it or not. She's pretty quick. But, we did blow her up this past season. <laughs> These things happen with race bikes, guys. Um, so, I'm actually going to bring that up to Power Sports up in Escanaba and have them rebuild it. Um, I usually do all the work on my bikes myself, but I don't really have a facility or the tools I actually will need to do it. And um, it's just worth my while to have somebody else rebuild it for me. Um, that way it's kind of warranted, and uh, if they mess something up, they can fix it. And if I mess something up, I'll have to repay for the new parts. <laughs> so I think that's the way we're going to go. So that is with the bikes. You got me in the shot there, buddy? Yep. Awesome. All of me? You're not cutting off my head? Nope. Man, you're standing right at that screen. Just what I want you to do. Awesome. So that's what we got to do to get these bikes ready. Again, these two are going to be riding around, having a good time this summer. I am hopefully going to be selling the KX125 here real soon. I'm going to go out and change the fluids, oils, and plugs in that here within the next so many days. Um, we have a new neighbor, uh, Connor and his mom and dad, and their awesome dog, Miller. And they are great people. I'm, I'm so glad that we got really cool neighbors. And when I say neighbors, they're still a little ways down the road, but, you know, they're our closest neighbors. Um, Connor is really big into dirt bikes. He doesn't have one himself, but he does have a really cool snowmobile and an awesome side-by-side. -side. And the boys have been going over there and riding around and having a good time. So this summer we should be able to uh, get Connor riding some dirt bike. That will be a lot of fun, don't you guys think? Yeah. Well, you guys are in sync right there. Look at that. It's like a cadence. <laughs> That's right. I'm a military dad. 
Alright everybody, so that is the video for today. Kind of short. Um, again, I made two videos today um, so that you can see this tomorrow as I have a lot of meetings to go to and a lot of stuff to take care of. And um, cross your fingers for me because I've been wanting to do stuff within the community and for the community and that's what I'm kind of working towards right now. So hopefully all the meetings go well. So, wow, is that a truck? Yeah. There's been a lot of traffic down our road lately. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell down below, let you know when I upload a video. And as always, I love you all. See me bye.